here at Nana Rosa's restaurant. The pandemic hasn't stopped the phones from ringing and customers from showing their support. It's laid back atmosphere, great food, great drink. Everything's good here, so I always like it here. It's uh, one of the only restaurants that I actually come to quite frequently. Those customers have helped this Robbinsdale restaurant survive even the worst of times. And there's no protocol for how to, how to run a restaurant during a pandemic shutdown, but here we are. And thankfully, you know, our customers showed us that they appreciated what we did in, in such great measures that we could continue. Tina Sulia and her husband Francesco opened Nana Rosa's in 2010, a forerunner to Robbinsdale's thriving restaurant scene. I call it the Renaissance. The Renaissance <laughs> we had no pig ate my pizza. Um, Travail opened shortly after. Nana Rosa's success was built through hard work. Cooking is a really physical, it's like physically demanding and it takes a lot of concentration. It's something Francesco Silia has done his whole life from working in a kitchen as a 12 year old in Italy until now. Coming over here at 10 o'clock in the morning and leave at 8 o'clock at night, seven days a week, is not time for family. For us, it was like handing over our child. Not having enough time for family, they realized it was time for a break. We just don't know what's next, and that's scary and exciting all in the same time. For the first time in a long time, the Sulias will no longer run a restaurant, turning over the keys to a friend who, like them, has spent many years in the industry. Really the goal in, transition, in the transition is to keep everybody on board and keep everything the same. And so I really wanted to spend the time to make sure that we paid tribute to everything that they had built here. Jesse Flieger knows how important Nano Rosa's is to Robbinsdale. That locally owned, neighborhood ran, family owned and operated restaurant first is the, is the thing that means the most to me. The name and the authentic Italian food will remain. A comforting feeling to a couple who work so hard to make it what it is. We love this community so much and just like, you know, it's just like, it's very hot. It's been such an honor and it's been such a, a beautiful um, adventure for us. In Robbinsdale, Corey Bork, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.